everybody it's they thrive back at it with another video and if you guys are new here i am a college lifestyle youtuber who focuses on giving people advice and reviews so that i can help college students navigate the world of money relationships and emotions so be sure to subscribe if you're interested in learning more in this video i'm going to be telling you guys how you guys can self-care on a budget i know that college students really don't have a lot of money or time so this video is dedicated for them because self-care can seem a little bit elitist and something that isn't essential a lot of times but it actually is very important because we only have so much energy before we get burnt out and as someone once told me you can't pour from an empty cup so make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can produce the best outcomes whether it be in school whether it be in your activism or in your clubs and sports and organizations whatever you're doing make sure that you are taking care of yourself feel free to mismatch this in any way that works for you and you can do it in the frequency that you want but i do recommend at least doing self-care once a week and make sure you stay to the end so you guys can know what i'm going to be talking about next week the number one tip is to read a book they have a lot of options i don't know if libraries are even open back but if you want to be on the safer side you don't have to use libraries that's one free option you can also use audiobook and you can use ebooks which they have free ebook apps so you can choose from the selection they have there or you can buy one because that is still cheaper than buying a hardcover book or a paper book and also there are some audiobooks that you can get for free as well another self-care option and it's really important in my opinion is to do what really made you happy as a kid as long as it's not harmful in any way and it's still healthy and good and it's fun to you still i recommend you doing what made you happy as a kid because a lot of times we have to abandon what truly makes us happy in childhood because we have to grow up we have bills to pay mouths to feed and everything else to worry about we don't really have time to do what really makes us happy so when i was younger i really liked doing puzzles sudoku dress up video games karaoke arts and crafts so i recommend you guys just do whatever made you personally happy as a child another self care ideal is to go for a walk or hike or anything outdoors even if you aren't an outdoors person like me every day you need to have some fresh air you need to have vitamin d which means you need your sunlight and you need to have physical activity so i think the perfect chance to do all three of those is to just go outside and do walk jog take a bike ride another really good self-care thing is using an essential oil diffuser to just make your room smell really good and to inhale some of those essential oils which have multiple different Benefits depending on the essential oil that you use. I recommend lavender and peppermint oil. Those are my favorite essential oils for a lot of things, to be honest. Another really good self-care is to listen to music or podcasts. Podcasts and movies are both free, so and podcasts can be very helpful because it can be both entertaining and it can also teach you something. I really love podcasts. If you guys need a list of recommended podcasts, I'll leave that in the description below. So Another self-care tip is to color they do have free printable coloring sheets online but of course it does take a printer and printing supplies so if you don't have that you can always go to the dollar store and get coloring books and crayons for like a dollar to five dollars depending on what dollar store you go to i always use dollar tree but if that isn't accessible to you then you can always use amazon or a different store that is near you another really good self-care practice is to light a candle and it's very similar to essential oils except it actually has a flame so if you don't like flames then essential oils is a flameless option for you i also recommend that you put on a face mask i only had a face mask actually one time in my entire life which i know is really kind of weird and the one time i did use a face mask was in this organization that i am a general member in they had a night where they had face mask and it was really nice i didn't realize how much i was missing guys so definitely do a face mask if you're like me and don't really do face masks also make sure you're sipping some tea or some coffee mm -hmm. that is so good guys but i do have a warning coffee may increase your anxiety another option is hot chocolate which is mm, that's so good i know it's the summer months but you can still afford hot chocolate but if not then maybe you can just sip on some slurpees or ices those are always good options for the summer another really good self-care thing is baking both the process of baking and eating the baked goods really helps people relieve stress and take care of themselves my roommate actually loved to bake so and she made really good cupcakes i'm gonna miss that 
if you're watching this. Another really good option is to meditate or do yoga. I really recommend this for people who never tried it because I feel like people downplay the significance of yoga and meditation. So you can do them separately, then you can do them together. They are two different things. I might do a video explaining it, but check the description if you want to know the difference between meditation and yoga. And just check the description in general because I have a lot of useful resources. Another really good self-care practice is to just take a bubble bath. You can get some bath bombs. I've seen them at Dollar Tree. So. You can also do an at-home manicure. You can either buy the kits, which are pretty cheap, or you can just buy what you need. The very, very essentials, which are nail clippers, nail files, nail polish, nail remover. Another really good self-care tip is to journal or write. Just get out your thoughts. It may take the form of writing poetry, writing a short story. Um, writing a gratitude journal, writing a bullet journal. There's just so many different ways. And I Another self-care thing, which is kind of along the lines of writing. If you're not really good at writing, maybe drawing would help you. If you're someone who's more artistic, I recommend drawing. Another self-care tip is to clean and organize your room. How your room looks seems to be a reflection of your state of mind a lot of times. Make sure you clean and organize your room so that you can be in your best mindset and you're not scrambling to look for anything having a disorganized room makes you more susceptible to anxiety because you can't find this you can't find that you're running late to this because you can't find this another self-care ideal is to window shop either online or in person sometimes it's just nice to look and see what's on the market now this option is only for those who have the willpower to not buy what they see if you're someone who just impulsive buys or who just buys things because they can i don't really recommend this option for you shopping can also be a very unhealthy habit also another self-care option is to spend an hour a week doing your favorite hobby i think this one is really important because we're college students, we have very limited time, so it's really easy to get lost in all of the work and all of our organizations and extracurricular activities to forget about our hobbies, but it's very important that you still maintain those hobbies. Another self-care ideal is to sleep. I know this one seems basic, but a lot of times we do lack in sleep, college students especially. Another self-care ideal is to read affirmations out loud to yourself in the mirror. I always recommend this to anybody that I really get close to. Just look, in, look into the mirror and just tell yourself that you're beautiful, that you are smart, very positive affirmations to yourself because I truly believe that what you tell yourself is what you start to believe after a while of saying it. So. Another self-care option is to start a garden. I really recommend this for people who are very hands-on type of person. I think gardening is a beautiful thing to start and you also produce outcomes that you can tangibly see and hold. Another good option is to wash your hair with a scalp massager. <sighs> Guys, I know this one seems very specific and a very odd request, but just massaging your scalp with a scalp massager, it just feels so good. It feels like you're in a salon getting your hair washed by a professional. So just make sure you get one of those. They're only like $4. If you need me to link one, I'll leave it in the description below because they are super cheap and they just make a world of difference in hair growth and and just relaxing and giving yourself that salon feeling at home. Another self-care option is to go thrift shopping. I recommend this for people who love to go shopping and they do have some fun to go shopping. Thrift shopping in itself is really fun, but it's even more fun when you can buy something and remake it or revamp it to your own liking. Um, another self-care option is to work on a puzzle. I recommend this for people who really like feeling things and who really like solutions. I was thinking about doing a video, having a self-care on a budget Dollar Tree edition. Tell me if you guys would like to see that because I actually got this cute pen from Dollar Tree when I was treating myself. So if you guys want to see how I treat myself and take care of myself using a Dollar Tree budget, let me know if you prefer Amazon because I know Amazon is more accessible than Dollar Tree and I'll do that in an upcoming episode. But if you're wondering what episode is coming this Thursday, it's going to be teaching guys how to develop a more open mind in college. 